Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing how the How to Train Your Dragon franchise would change if Hiccup died. Believe it or not, Hiccup is, well, I guess it's pretty obvious, but Hiccup is the main character in the franchise. And like most characters, he gets into a few risky things. Now, like I said, I've only seen the first season and part of the second season of Race to the Edge, but I've seen a few clips, and I do know that Hiccup almost drowns. The second movie is almost shot by Toothless. He almost dies in a fire quite a few times, and a lot of bad guys want him. Pretty risky stuff, but what if he actually hadn't survived one of those? What if he had died in the TV shows or one of the movies? How would that affect his relationship with other characters, and how would that affect the franchise? Now, if my sister were here, she would tell you that the story wouldn't exist, she would end the video. Well, if Hiccup had died in the first movie, there wouldn't have been a sequel. Rise of Burke, Defenders of Burke, Race to the Edge, or the third movie. There would have just been the first movie and it wouldn't have had a great ending. Now, if Hiccup died, there were many ways they could do this. Yes, they could end the story. Two, it could pass to someone else, which is... It wouldn't be as good because in the books, the main character is also Hiccup. Still wouldn't work that well. And the story wouldn't be the same without Hiccup. I mean, yes, each character brings something to it. Fish Legs brings uh, smarts. And then it's not allowed the twins they bring and Gobber bring quite a bit of the comedy. And Hiccup and Astrid bring the romance in this movie. One of my favorite things about this movie is it has action, it has comedy, it has romance, and it has dragons. Now if Hiccup had died in the first movie, Dragon Train wouldn't have been the same. Vikings wouldn't have tamed dragons. Stoic would have just kept Burke killing dragons all this whole time and Toothless would have been killed by another Viking and Astrid snot loud the twins and fish legs would continue learning how to fight dragons and being the Vikings that they were meant to be. And Hiccup never would have found his mother. She would have stayed in that Dragon Utopia or Sanctuary or wherever it was she lived in. Astrid and Hiccup were never married. Zephyr and Nothing wouldn't exist in the homecoming. Stoic may st still have been killed by Drago that I'm not sure about. Now what about the relationships? How would Hiccup's death affect the relationships? Let's start with his father Stoic. Now, all throughout the movie, Stoic accepts who Hiccup is. He accepts that Hiccup is this person, this Viking that doesn't kill dragons, this different from other Vikings. Then, when he finds out that Hiccup loves dragons and can tame them, he gets mad. Really mad, because he does some- he broke tradition and did something no Viking has ever done. Eventually, though, he comes around and ends up loving dragons just as much as Hiccup. So, if Hiccup died, would that have changed anything? Yes, it probably would have. Stoic would have never come around and realized that dragons aren't the fun-loving, cute beasts we know them as. He would have found them as the people these drag these these pests who steal their livestock and take away loved ones and threaten their village. He would have kept killing dragons. Now of course it depends if Hiccup died. If Hiccup was killed by a dragon 
well, that'd be in the second movie. Let's say if he died in the first movie, he was engulfed by flame, the flames. Stoic would either stop fighting dragons or he would continue to fight dragons for avenging his death. Now, I figure if he'd been killed by Toothless, pretty much the same thing probably would have happened. If Hiccup had drowned, Stoic would have done something to avenge his son's death. That's the way Stoic is. Now, what about Velka? We only see her in the second, third movie. She only knows him for a bit. She almost loses him when the boiled beast blows ice on him and Toothless. So how would that affect her relationship with Hiccup? If he had died before the second movie, or before he, she found him, he wouldn't... she probably would have stayed in her dragon sanctuary, hidden to everyone, and never been reunited with Stoic or Hiccup or all the other Vikings. If he died at the end of the second movie, well, Belka would end up being, well, actually, if Stoic hadn't died but Hiccup had, those two would rule together. Or maybe she would go back to her dragon sanctuary and stay where she was because she couldn't bear the thought that after finally seeing her son for 20 years, he's gone. Now, if he had died in the third movie, Valka would have ended up probably. Valka and or Astrid would end up leading the tribe. Let's face it, she would probably end up just going back to a dragon sanctuary. Now, what about Astrid? We know that. Now, like I said, I've only seen the first two seasons of Race to the Edge, but I do read stuff on the episodes and I spoil everything for myself. It's just me. We do know that in the last episode of season four, Sand Busted, that Hiccup and Ash should become betrothed or engaged to be married. They don't even know exactly when they will marry, but they do know that someday they will marry. So, if Hiccup died, how would that affect Astrid? Well, if he had died before Race to the Edge, she does seem to have a crush on him in the first movie by some hints. Now that's my opinion. You have your own opinions. I'm not judging you. She probably would just stay the way she was. The tough dragon killing machine that she wanted to be. If this was after the first movie or Race to the Edge. Astrid would not be the same. I recently watched a video by Marta Edits on what would happen if Hiccup died, and it was mostly just a compilation of how Astrid's relationship would be affected, although mostly it was just clips of them together with sad music behind it. Still very good, why don't you guys go check that out at the end of this. But if Hiccup died, Astrid would never be the same. She might, so she might end up with Snotlow, but that's just because she knows that Snotlow is now available, and she knows she never really likes Snotlow. She would just end up with him because her life wouldn't be the same. She might end up throwing her life away just because Hiccup is gone. Now, what about Gopper and the rest of the Viking, the rest of the kids? Now, they aren't actually family to Hiccup, but Gobber is like Hiccup's second father, and Hiccup was Gobber's apprentice. So how do you think Gobber would feel to know that Hiccup, who is his best friend's son, is gone? Now, Gobber doesn't normally show emotions, and when he does, everyone's crying. Well... Gobber would probably never be the same as Hiccup. When H Stoic died in the second movie, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. Please don't get mad. 
But in the second movie, when Stoic dies, the third movie, Garber is kind of like Hiccup's father, besides having Velka there as a parental figure or parent, Garber is there as well, kind of as a second father, second in command, or is that, Astrid's technically second in command, but he's kind of just his second father. So, Garber would have feelings if Hiccup died, it would affect him majorly. Now, if any of you have seen Rise of the Book, you'll know that once they stop killing dragons, Garber's weapon business is dwindled. Hiccup eventually helps him discover that he can help dragons. If Hiccup died, Garber would probably just hang up his hammers and everything and say he was done with dragons. Now what about the rest of the Vikings? Fish Legs, Snodlout, and the Twins. Now we do see that when Stoic is being going through the Viking funeral that they are all crying and Snodlout is trying to prove he's too tough to cry. Hiccup taught these guys that dragons aren't what they thought they were. Dragons can be ridden and trained. Hiccup taught them to trust dragons and others as well. Now, fish legs would definitely cry. Fish legs would probably disappear into who knows where and never come back. The twins? Who knows what the twins, they would just probably do something that nobody would expect and it'd be hilarious and sad at the same time. And Starlout, Starlout would act like he was tough and say that he never really missed Hiccup, he never liked him. But deep down inside, Starlout would feel empty. Starlout makes it seem like he doesn't have feelings, that he doesn't care about people. But deep down inside, as we see with Hookfang and even his dad sometimes, we do see that Snodlout does indeed care about those around him. So Snodlout, even though he would try to pass it off as the tough guy who doesn't cry and doesn't care, he would definitely care. Now what about the books? What if Hiccup died in the books? We do know that by the 10th book, Stoic, who is now a slave, is sitting there and he keeps telling himself he should have respected Hiccup, he should have just accepted him for who he was. If Hiccup died, Stoic could probably just keep feeling that way and... Stoic would have just ended up being a lost cause and stuck doing whatever Alvin made him. Fish Legs probably would have done the same thing, disappeared, nobody knows where. Kamikaze, who is also his best friend. Would want to avenge his death, most likely. That's basically it. Valhalla Rama would never see her son again. She never sees him that much anyway, based on the books. And the dragons would have died because Alvin would have become king of the wilderness and used the dragon jewel to destroy dragons franchise would be very lost without Hiccup. The books wouldn't be the books because Hiccup is the main character in the books. And the movies and the TV shows wouldn't be the same without Hiccup, even if they did continue it on after he died. I would stop watching it. You would probably stop watching it. So... The answer to my question, the answer, I asked myself, if Hiccup died, how badly would it affect the franchise? How badly would it affect the story? And how badly would it protect, would it affect the characters around him? And my answer, the answer to my own question, and maybe yours as well, is, if Hiccup died, the franchise would not be the same. It probably would not exist. The, the plot line would be completely different, it would not be what it is, and the characters would be people you would not want to watch or fall in love with. 
you wouldn't want to see these characters go through that in the books. Now in the books, if Hiccup died, again, the story would probably not exist, and if it did, it would not be that good. It would end up being about fish legs, and the fish legs in the book is not one, well, he is a good character, but he's just not one of the best. He's very skinny, skinnier than Hiccup, skinnier than me, and I am kind of skinny. He has glasses, eczema, asthma, he's in he worries all the time, and he's allergic to reptiles. I mean, it would be kind of funny, but still, it would not be the same. And the characters in the book, mostly just stoic, kamikaze, and fish legs, would be completely affected. The rest would just move on like nothing ever happened. And Snobbot in the book, in the book, Snobbot would be very happy, because for finally, after 11 plus years of wishing he could kill Hiccup and just become chief. He finally gets to become chief and rule with the iron fist he always wanted to. And Toothless... Now there's a guy I forgot to talk about. Toothless. If Hiccup died in the movies, Toothless would be completely lost. Toothless, yes, we do see he is written by Stoic, but that's he does it because Hiccup is trying to teach his dad how to ride a dragon. He is written by Astrid in the episode Sand Busted. But that's because they are trying to save Hiccup. Now Toothless also can't fly. He would be a drown he would be a down dragon. And Toothless wouldn't want anybody else to fly him. Not even Astrid or Stoic or any one of else of Hiccup's friends or family. I mean, he might. I'm guessing he probably wouldn't. And he would be stuck down somewhere. He would be captured by other Vikings, killed by other Vikings, or even by other dragons. Unless Jacob died in the third movie, then he could fly off with the Night Fury. Light, sorry, Light Fury. Wherever he wanted, but still wouldn't be the same. Now in the book, Toothless, best word to describe him is a brat. He really is a brat because he goes on strikes in the worst time possible. He always brags about himself and never listens to Hiccup. But we do know that Toothless does care about Hiccup a few times, and that is way out of his character in the book, but it's cute. So we do know that if Hiccup died in the books, Toothless would also be a lost cause. So what do you guys think? How would the franchise be different if Hiccup died? Comment down below. Also guys, I'm still trying to find a good video for, a good app for editing videos, so comment down below if you find one. Stay cool. Love you guys.